Guys, thank you so much for coming out. We've got one more comedian for you, and it's he's a doozy. I would describe him as a doozy, really, to be honest. It's a good friend of mine. This is really cool. It's Russell Jordan Poole. Yeah, let's give a big hand for all the comics. And another round of applause for our wonderful MC, Mike Regan. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get to know each other. Let me tell you about myself. I have no idea whether or not I do drugs. I have no clue. I either don't do drugs or I do so many drugs that I can't ever remember doing drugs. That's the problem with drugs. Kills your memory. And it sucks at parties. It sucks. Hey, do you want to smoke some weed? I, I don't know. How do you not know? I think I'm in the movie Memento. I don't know. Where even am I? <laughs> it's confusing though. Does my room smell like marijuana or is it the skunk that I just adopted? <laughs> Are those pop rocks all over the floor or did I go a little too hard on the meth last night? <coughs> is that a heroin needle in my desk drawer or did I steal my roommate's insulin shots because he ate the last of my Chobani Greek yogurt? <laughs> I know the answer to that one. It's the insulin shots. <laughs> what? That's Rusty's treat. <laughs> Rusty's treat. <laughs> I get my hair cut at salons. What are you, a girl? I don't know, close-minded audience member. <laughs> Is it girly to want to be pampered in a chair while sweet-smelling perfumes waft through the air and Celine Dion plays over the radio? If so, then yeah, I might be a girl. <laughs> but you know what? I'm willing to admit that. I love the salon. Are you kidding me? It's the best. A bunch of reasonably attractive, middle-aged women rubbing my head and telling me I'm handsome for an hour? Uh, yes please. <laughs> Sign me up. You don't get compliments at the barber shop. All you get at the barber shop are old people talking about Vietnam and how hot Marilyn Monroe used to be. Oh, I wish I wasn't fighting a damn. Then maybe I could have stood a chance with Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe died in 1962. The U.S. military didn't intervene in the Vietnam War until 1965. Get your shit together, barber shop. <laughs> You think you stood a chance with a woman who slept with John F. Kennedy? Come on! Work with what you got, Barbershop. <laughs> We've been making fun of religion a lot this show. A lot. I hope all of you are atheists, because we've been offending you. <laughs> but you know what? I think we all need a little reminder. I think we do. Because I think we've forgotten that the Lord sent his only son, Jesus Christ, down to earth to be crucified on the cross for the sins of humanity. Which sounds a lot like child abuse when you say it out loud. <laughs> Why do you deserve that? Daddy, I spilled my juice. Jesus Christ! That's it! You're going on the cross! <laughs> All I'm saying is if Child Protective Services had existed back in biblical times, that shit would not have gone down. <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh, I don't know why she's Wisconsin. Yahweh, do you see other people nailing their children to wood? No, that is why Jesus the Christ is being taken from your care and putting put into a Gentile foster facility. Okay? What's that? You need him to die on the cross, otherwise you won't forgive the sins of humanity. Someone call the police. I think this Yahweh fella's a cult leader. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on somebody that was just so big that like you couldn't control it? That you had to get yourself a restraining order just to save time and money? <laughs> 
What? Really? I'm the only one? Just because I'm a stalker, I can't be fiscally responsible? I might be a creep, but I'm a taxpayer. Okay? I don't have the time and money to do things like buy a tent to set up in her backyard, or buy night vision goggles to spy on her with, or get an extra cell phone so I can harass her in a variety of accents. Hi, what are you wearing? It's the social worker. What are you wearing? What? what? Your clothes. Or lack thereof. What are they? Come on. Describe your socks first. It's cold in Wisconsin. Warmth is sexy. It sucks when they want to date you back, though. Because then what do you do? Hey, do you want to go out for dinner sometime? Not according to the law, bitch! <laughs> you need to stay 50 yards away from me at all times. <laughs> Why? Because I'm a very socially responsible psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> My parents want me to become a minister. <clears throat> <laughs> and it's like, I get it, guys. You don't want me to have sex. Okay? Here's the thing, though. I don't need religion's help not to have sex. <laughs> all right? Okay? I'm plenty good at not getting laid all by myself. <laughs> using religion to not have sex is like using a calculator for math. It's cheating. <laughs> cheating? Is abstinence a competition? I don't know, audience member who has interrupted me twice now. <laughs> I do know, actually. It is a competition, and I'm going for gold. <laughs> Bill, can you tell us, uh, can you tell us what's happening here? Yes, I can, Tom. Right now, Russell is talking to a girl who wants to have sex with him. Uh-oh, how's he gonna get out of this one? <laughs> well, that's a good question, Tom. Russell has already tried telling this girl that he bought a Nintendo 3DS specifically so he could play the new version of Pokemon. <laughs> And she still wants to have sex with him? That's right, Tom. What a loser. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that a flag on the play? Why, yes it is, Tom. It seems Russell said he's going to be a minister when he grows up. That is a red card violation. Russell's out of the game. That's why I said, everybody. Thank you. And I know you did too. I heard you laughing. Don't tell me otherwise. We are Second Floor Stand Up. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us in this very room every Tuesday. We have open mics from 9.15 to 11. Come on down. You can bring jokes. You can try them out. You can just have fun. Whatever, you know. We Thank you so much for coming out. And now just go on with the rest of your weekend. Oh, 